So I wasn't a huge fan of Tom Ford fragrances because I felt that they were overpriced, my opinion. The summer is summering, the sun is sunning, you know, it's hitting. <laughs> I own no shares in Kayali, but you guys know how I feel about Kayali. Let's get into these fragrances. My people, my people, welcome back to my channel. I make videos to help you smell good, look good, and feel good. It's Miss Prissy, baby. Please subscribe, I'm hungry. Hey, sister girl, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and become part of the family. In today's video, I will be talking about summer fragrances that we talked about last year that no one is talking about this year. If you see my previous video where I talked about summer fragrances that I will not be wearing, I was just sitting and thinking to myself, how about summer fragrances that people used to talk about and they don't talk about no more? With these fragrances, there's a classic old say that gone but not forgotten but with these fragrances it's the other way around i could probably say that they're forgotten but not gone so if you want to hear all about these fragrances without further ado let's get right into the video Hello. Oh, yeah, it's me. starting off fragrance number one is from the house of tom ford and this is soleil blonde this fragrance last year there were loads of people talking about soleil blanc soleil blanc soleil blanc to the point that i went and purchased it like i'm not a huge fan of tom ford fragrances by the way let me just set this out because i used to own lost cherry it wasn't doing much for me me personally i'm not saying that other people cannot love lost cherry but for me that fragrance always was lost on my body so i wasn't a huge fan of tom ford fragrances because I felt that they were overpriced, my opinion. Somehow people talked about Soleil Blanc to the point that I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go get this Soleil Blanc. I cannot be left off the train. I'll put my hands up. It was partly FOMO. <laughs> Fear of missing out is what made me to get this fragrance. But you know what? Maybe it's time to pull this one out because the summer is summering. The sun is sunning. You know, it's hitting. It's time to pull this fragrance out because it's gathered some dust. This one was definitely hyped last year. There were loads of people talking about it. And somehow this year it's cricket. Moving on to the next fragrance is from the house of Mont Blanc, and this is signature. <laughs> you see this small bottle? You see this small bottle? Okay. I saw. This small bottle I have not even gotten through. This fragrance, nothing against it. Really sweet fragrance. Smells like a sorbet. Perfect for the summer. I don't know why I haven't worn this a lot. I don't know if it's because we've just come into summer and I need to... That's why I'm talking about these fragrances actually. Mm. Not because I have a problem with them, but because I need to remind myself about these fragrances and literally pull them out. If not, I'm not going to wear them. Another summer will come and go and I wouldn't wear these fragrances. What do you mean by that? This fragrance was so hyped last year. Like almost everybody went to purchase it. And the good thing about it is it's a very affordable fragrance. It smells very sweet. It's not the most long lasting. But it's a perfect dessert smelling type fragrance for summer. This year, again, I have not heard loads of people talk about this fragrance. Signature by Mont Blanc. Next fragrance on this list is from one of my favorite perfume houses. It is Kayali. And this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. This is a very, very sweet fragrance. Sweet yet coconutty. Hi. Ah, you know what? This should be my scent of the day. You guys know how I feel about Kayali. <laughs> I own no shares in Kayali, but you guys know how I feel about Kayali. This is a really mm, 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 mm. Mm, okay, that smells good. This is my scent of the day, definitely. This fragrance has got some coconut in it, it's got some vanilla bonbon in it. When this fragrance got launched last year, there were some mixed reviews about it. Some people absolutely loved it, aka me. And there were other people who, you know, were like on the fence about it. But it was one that was really talked about last year. It was one of Kayali's five, I think Kayali dropped about five fragrances last year. And it was one of the drops. Really lovely fragrance. I definitely recommend it. Probably start off with a small bottle before you invest in a big bottle. But yeah, Vanilla Coco 21 was one of the most talked about fragrances from summer last year that I'm not hearing a lot of people talk about this year. Next on the list is <laughs> Rihanna's Perfume. Love Don't Be Shy, but I have got Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Now, the reason I'm talking about this fragrance next is because it smells, to me, kind of similar to Vanilla Coco 21 and we've just talked about Vanilla Coco 21. This fragrance is a marshmallow. It smells like a marshmallow. Heavy on the tuberose. If you're not the sort of person that likes tuberose, 
this might be a bit too much it is quite very 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 bubble gummy and very very sweet i really do like this fragrance not many people are talking about this one this year and i'm just like what's up what's happening like we need to shed light we need to show love to this fragrance if you own love don't be shy extreme pull it out give it some love this summer wear it remember it love don't be shy extreme from the house of killian next on the list is you all made me buy this one yeah fratcom made me buy this fragrance it is cloud from ariana ariana grande cloud this is a dupe watch out on the channel i talk about the various categories of perfumes so that video will be coming up i don't know if it's before this or after this but watch out on the channel this is a dupe fragrance for baccarat rouge 540 a more affordable drugstore version this fragrance was so talked about last year i don't know if it's because it came out with a more intense version but i don't know i'm not really hearing about ariana grande cloud this year this fragrance deserves some love ariana grande cloud really beautiful fragrance smells like amber it's an amber vanilla type fragrance really really sweet if you do not like sweet fragrances this is not for you but if you like sweet fragrances try this out if you also have baccarat rich 40 and you want a more affordable version that you can be spraying at home or to run errands then definitely check out ariana grande cloud and patrice from the house of dolce and gabbana this is a watermelon kiwi fruity fresh sweet fragrance loads of people were going ham on this fragrance last year I literally had to try it out in fact at a point I found out the difference between the one that has three written here if you own the Empress from Dolce & Gabbana pull this fragrance out show it some love it's a really beautiful fragrance especially if you're going on holiday you want something fresh you want something sweet something easy it's not the most long-lasting I'll just call it out for what it is this fragrance is not the most long-lasting but it's a beautiful fragrance an affordable designer fragrance an ultimate fragrance on this list is Donna by Tristardi this fragrance was recommended to me by Marcy her channel name is Marcelina Theresa go check her out Marcy has one of the biggest Tristardi collections I've ever come across this fragrance is like a lemon clean fragrance oh this is really nice really clean if you own this fragrance pull it out show it some love it's summer this is me trying to remind you of the fragrances that you've got and that you've not touched so donna by trisaldi really really nice fragrance really clean it's one of the more affordable fragrances that i have talked about today trisaldi by donna what did you say no donna by trisaldi and finally on this list i do not own this fragrance but loads of people were talking about versace dylan blue last year the guava the freshness goodness gracious father the guava fragrance the fragrance that made it to the point that i literally had to go and sample the fragrance but it came across to me as a fragrance that was not going to be very long lasting very fresh very easy on the nose it's a sort of fragrance that you're definitely going to have to top up on but if you do not mind and you want something fresh and you want something from versace definitely check out versace dylan blue show it some love if you own it pull it out it is summer we need to start pulling out our summer fragrances and rotating our collection go ahead and let me know some of your favorite summer fragrances in the comment section down below also go ahead and let me know a fragrance that you have not pulled out in a long time i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope i have reminded you about some of the fragrances that you need to pull out go ahead and do all of that good stuff guys like share and subscribe guys please like please share please subscribe and also i see you again in my next video because i look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed Penultimate. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because it came out with. I'll put my hands up. It was partly. Watch out on the channel. My watch out. There's a classic old saying that. Gone. There's a classic old saying that. Let's share. It was so hyped up. But with this. This. Now. Um, I don't know if it's because it came out with. Um, video i will be talking about some uh, it, this fragrance is a bubble gummy no this fragrance this fragrance you know in the last video <laughs> in the last video if you saw my other video if you now with this fragrance back to the channel if you're not already so <clears throat> hey sister girl you saw my last video where i talked if you saw my previous today's video Hey sister girl, welcome back to the channel. Even three, two, one in action. Hey, Papa, why are you here?